Fieldco has been around since about 1995. Our solutions tend to focus on assurance and analytics applications, usually big data. And we have sort of three areas of focus. We look at margin assurance, so we look at profitability, cost, and revenue. We look at service assurance, so we look at quality of service, how services are performing. And uh, we've recently introduced customer analytics that sort of looks at customer from all those angles, quality of service, profitability and behavior. So analytics to us is really central to a lot of what we do. People are enamored with analytics, so we use analytics to power a lot of the tools and in the end, it's an enabler. And we try to make our customers understand it's a great capability, it does many, many things, but it's meant to help solve a business problem. So how we use analytics today is to power those three different areas that we talked about improving your, uh, your efficiencies at the cost and the margin levels, uh, making sure your customers are getting the best possible service, optimizing the network, and really tying it across a lot of those areas. Where the innovation probably has come in the last couple of years is the uh, everybody talks about big data. There's a ton of it flying at you and you gotta process it really fast and there's a lot of variety. But again, value is where we've come from making sure that you apply those bits, bytes, and insight and have some meaningful feedback to the company. Otherwise, you've just got great reports and great insight, but you really haven't solved the reason why we're, we're in business. One of the uh, great stories that Tioco has with the teasing agreement is we actually did our R&D on serial number 001. So, you know, before it was an industry, before it was a market, as, as Natiza pioneered the stage, we recognized that very early and we jumped on and we delivered our applications on that very, very first box. The pioneering step that we believe that Natiza has done is, is the appliance application to that problem set, which has really solved a lot of our areas. That said, we probably manage something like 24 racks of Natiza equipment for our customers. Um, but it's an incredibly powerful environment. Simplicity, I think, comes from two sides of the house. Remember, we are a product company, we are a services company, so we use it, it simplifies our life. So the 24 racks I told you, we have two full-time people that manage that. Two full-time for 24 racks in the TISA environments. While there's many different reasons why this works so well, one of the key enablers that the platform has given for us, and we've taken advantage of, is the ability to go down to the individual transactional event level data. We've had the continuity working with the Natiza team as well as the expanded IBM team and we're sort of sharing information and sort of training each other across it. We've done it in North America very, very well. Um, right now we are actually engaged with IBM and because of that presence, it's giving us the opportunity to address new markets completely new regional markets that we're, we're attacking together. That's probably one of the biggest innovations, my perspective, in the data warehouse world that Natiza has brought on, is that, that, you know, it's the iPod approach for big data. So I think most of the analytic applications, it's not just bringing the data together, it's bringing the user perspectives together for that one guy. And what analytics gives you, what big data gives you, is exactly that. And we're starting to see it. It is not a two years from now uh, uh, initiative. It's happening now, but it's evolving.